Today, we're going to be taking a look at Realty Income's Q2 latest earnings report. So we'll break down the numbers. We'll take a look and discuss what this means for investors and provide insights in order for you to navigate the current market. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking to start a new investment account, check out my investment links that will be in the description and pinned in the comments. We'll both get free stocks and you'll be supporting the channel. So now let's start with a quick overview of what is Realty Income Corporation. They are known as the monthly dividend paying company. They are a real estate investment trust a REIT known for their reliable monthly dividends. They own over 1,100 properties, primarily leased to commercial tenants. We know and go to these places almost every day, like your local CVS or BJ's. So when it comes to revenue, they surpass expectations. Their revenue came in at $1.34 billion which exceeded the estimate of $1.31 billion. This increase in revenue was primarily driven by their higher rental income. One of the key insights of the report of the growth when it comes to retail revenue is that realty income continues to grow, which is a positive sign for investors. The company saw a significant increase in rental income from its diversified portfolio of properties. They have been continuing to expand their portfolio and acquire new properties and are entering into long-term leases with reliable tenants. This strategy helps to ensure for steady income and reduce their risks. When it comes to earnings per share, their results may be a concern, but it may not be a deal breaker because investors should look at the overall financial health and growth of the company. They beat when it comes to revenue estimates, and that is a strong indicator of the company's ability to generate income. It shows that their properties are performing well and their tenants are able to pay consistently. So let's take a look at the stock on the day. And I am filming this on August 6th and the earnings were yesterday. So on the day, they are up 3.38% as of the time that I am recording. The stock market's reaction was mixed when the earnings report came out. Some investors focus on the earnings per share miss, while others are encouraged by the revenue beat. Realty income future looks promising with their continued expansion and steady rental income coming in. Investors should keep their eyes on any upcoming new acquisitions. So as I said, on the day, we're up about 3.3%. Over the last week, we're up 4.96%. I currently hold 103.4 shares of realty income in my passive income portfolio. And I'm just staying focused on my long-term goals and holding for now with confidence in the continued dividend payment from this company, as well as some stock price growth back to when it was in the high 60s. So realty income has increased their monthly dividend by 1.6% to zero, 0.777 per share, making 107 consecutive quarterly increases when it comes to their dividend payment. Now, taking a look at the analyst ratings when it comes to the price target, there are some analysts that are rating it as high as 68, but the average right now is 61.64. So that's it for today. Just a quick update on what is going on with Realty Income and the results of their Q2 2024 earnings. Make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video, like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Realty Income. Are you holding it in your portfolio? What are your thoughts on the dividends as well as the current stock price and future stock price for the company? And again, if you're ready to start on your investment journey, check out my referral links. They will be pinned in the description as well as in the comments. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.